Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 21st. Yep. <laughs> it's a cold morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, it was 12 degrees when I got up this morning. Uh, it's going to hit a high of, I think, 23. I know 12 degrees isn't cold for some of you, but it's cold for me. Uh, got about three to four inches of snow. Friday night into Saturday, so I spent most of the day, well not most of the day, but I spent time yesterday clearing that and being cold and yeah, so winter, what are you going to do? Ah, uh, so, sorry about the little confusion on the date there, but it's just par for the course today because this is the second time I'm recording this video. Yes, I hit the streaming button instead of the recording button and I did a really nice video that just got streamed out to nothing and uh no one will ever see. So here we are, take two. Ah, the goal of the video today was to give impressions of a bosun cut plug. Bosun cut plug. Uh, this was a sample of tobacco that was given to me by my buddy Phil Rivera. Uh, Phil was kind enough to send three tobaccos: uh, the Condor Long Cut that we talked about last week. And on the Friday night live stream, we always choose the tobacco of the week, and this is the tobacco of the week. However, we're doing things a little bit differently for these three tobaccos. We wanted to run through them sequentially, so we voted to start with Condor Long Cut, and then we're going to continue the bosun. And the third tobacco that Phil sent is Peter Heinrich's Reserve Grand Cru Number no. 2. I know nothing about that one, so I'm really looking forward to that next week. Um, but today we're going to be having some of this bosun, and full disclosure, I've already loaded and started this with the first video, but I still have about half the pipe to go, so we'll we'll continue with that, but I will show you the example of the flake. Um, these are nice, uh, sort of stringy flakes, and they rub out quite easily. Normally I would just kind of pull some of this off and ball it up and stuff it in, but for the purposes of the video, I did rub it out just to make sure it burns consistently and I didn't have to struggle with relighting. I rarely do, but it happens occasionally. All right, so we got this loaded up. This tobacco, and I have it in my Rop Cherry Wood, um, which I will get lit once again and tell you about the tobacco. It is a mixture of a couple of different Virginias, uh, some interesting Virginias uh, from Brazil, Zimbabwe, and Malawi. Uh, it's about 50% Virginia, according to the description. It also has about 30% of what's described as dark-fired leaf. I don't know if it's Kentucky. I don't think it is, because it doesn't have that strong dark-fired Kentucky kind of flavor to it, but it definitely has some hints of that, you know, that sort of... Um, smoky um, smoky sweetness. There's also some burly in there and it um, it is topped with a oil of clove and rose geranium. God help me. And um, yeah. So Phil sent this along because he uh, considers it to be a good alternative to, uh, or an alternative to the Condor uh, long cut. And he said that the, the distinction is that the bosun cut plug is brighter and has a bit more, it's a bit more Lakeland forward. And I agree with him on both counts, uh, all three counts. It is an alternative. Uh, it's not the same thing, but if you like Condor long cut, you'll probably like this. It definitely is brighter. I'm not sure if that brightness is because of the tobacco or because of the topping. Um, the topping does have a slightly sharp edge, at least for the first half of the bowl. And it's definitely more forward in terms of the Lakeland Essence. I cannot detect, you know, I, I smoked this on Friday night, one bowl, and I smoked halfway through this bowl today, this morning, and I have not been able to detect any clove at all. But definitely that floral, what I'm assuming is the rose geranium, 
uh, is prominent and continues to be prominent throughout the bowl. The main difference between this and Condor, for me, is in that topping. So Condor was a liquor-based topping that was sort of steamed in, and it stayed consistent through the whole bowl. This is a um, floral-based topping. Uh, I assume is not steamed in because they don't comment on that, and it's not perfectly consistent, but it doesn't go away. You get it through the whole bowl. Uh, I mentioned it's a bit sharp at the beginning. That definitely decreases as you go along. And it becomes a little, just slightly less prominent. So the tobacco starts to come, few, come through just a little bit more in the second half of the bowl. But by and large, it is balanced. Um, which creates a kind of interesting flavor profile. So it's not like you're smoking an aromatic where you can't taste the tobacco at all and it's all topping uh, until the topping goes away. It's also not like uh, something where you've got just the light topping and the tobacco is really easy to detect and the topping is just sort of a note in the background. This is very well balanced and it makes it difficult to decide whether that's a topping note or a tobacco note. Uh, I'm having trouble pulling out any like really clean Virginia flavor which I don't mean in a bad way I just mean it's very hard to isolate that because it's so well paired and melded with that floral essence it creates an interesting sweetness because of that it's not it's not sugary sweet it's more of a caramelized, uh, toasted, almost like, um, it doesn't taste anything like toasted coconut, but it's that kind of sweetness profile where you've got a sweet, savory combination, uh, not too bright, sugary sweet, but caramely sweet with something else uh, toasty in there. And maybe that's the dark fired. So the bottom line for me is that, um, yes, I can understand why this would be a, an alternative to Condor Long Cut. And if you like Condor Long Cut, you definitely should try this. This is a great tobacco for someone that's curious about Lakelands, but he's afraid of them, like me. Uh, this is not in any way offensive, and I can, I can enjoy this. It's not something I would buy, um, just because if, if, I, if I want this, I'm going to want it maybe a couple times a year. I put it in that same category as Latakia for me. I don't really like Latakia. It's not something I want every day, but occasionally I get an itch for it, and I'll, I'll pull some out. The same with this. I might occasionally think, gee, I'd like to have some of that, but it's not going to be a common event for me. But that's just my palate and what I enjoy. So yeah, bosun cut plug. Look at that. I'm I'm now an ex I'm now a I don't know how to put it. <laughs> I've had a Lakeland I enjoy. I guess I've had two now if you count Condor. I don't know if you count Condor, but good stuff. So thank you, Phil. You've opened my eyes, and I really do appreciate that. Now I can't wait to try the third one because it's a bit of a mystery to me. And don't tell me what it is. I enjoy the mystery. So, uh, yesterday was a bit of a wash for me. I, uh, for reasons I won't go into, I, I, I wound up not getting a lot of sleep on Friday night. And then on uh, Saturday, I had to get up early and move the snow. And, uh, and I wound up napping in the afternoon. So... Watched Sven Gulli last night, of course, The Evil of Frankenstein, a great um, Peter Cushing horror, uh, hammer horror film. Uh, really enjoyed that. Today, 
I think we got a dreaded shopping trip in our future. Possibly a trip to Costco. We shall see. Otherwise, just going to take it easy and uh, looking forward to the big warm up tomorrow where we're going to hit 34 degrees, I think. Oh, 37 degrees, actually. Crazy. I don't think it's going to be below freezing for more than a couple of hours tomorrow. And it's not going to get above, it hasn't gotten above freezing for three days. Next weekend, uh, weather permitting, I'm going to be traveling on Saturday to York, PA for the Midwestern Tool Collectors Association annual meeting there. And uh, really looking forward to that. I might take a little bit of video. I'll definitely take some pictures. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of toying with the idea of putting together a little travel video for it. I don't know. We'll see. Don't have a big shopping list for the tool show. Just a couple of odds and ends that I'd like to get just to complete a set or, you know, things like that, but nothing big. But you never know what you're going to find, right? Ah, uh, so I think I'm going to draw this to a close. I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you did, please, you know, hit that like button and subscribe and all that good stuff. Helps get the word out and uh, helps grow the community. So I'd appreciate it if you would do that. And uh, comments, I love comments, so go ahead and comment. Can't answer them all. But I read them all, and uh, <clears throat> I always appreciate them. So with that, folks, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.